Domination is back in Mighty. This time you have to win and get above a certain threshold of empty points in order to get the player back. Now initially it might seem easy with the first win only requiring you to get 425 points, but it starts to ramp up as you go up, with you already needing to get 650 points with the Lakers. You get points each time you get on the stat sheet. Rebounds, blocks and steals are worth 6 empty points each. Which means you're going to want to have a good rebounder scratching the boards on both ends. When scoring, you get additional points depending on how you score. 4 bonus points for fast break, 4 for the shot being assisted, 3 for it being a dunk and 2 for a layup. Given that you want to be able to get as many points as you can, you have to play a run and gun type offense with an emphasis on inside offense in order to get the point requirements at the higher levels. On points of emphasis, you're going to want to crash the boards on offense. Depending on how close you are to winning will determine your aggressiveness. If you're not confident in coming out on top, you can put some players to get back while others crash the boards. On defense, I'd advise you to put at least some of the players to go on break early, even if you're not confident of getting every board, as a rebound will net you 6 points, but an assistant fast break dunk is worth an incredible 13 points. That's why you should always push the ball, to keep up with the tempo as well as to get the fast break bonus. Early on you'll want to save the contracts on silver and gold players by just playing with a bronze squad. You won't get penalized for having better players this year, but their contracts still cost more. Fastest form of offense to call is going to be pick and roll when you're forced into a half-court setting. But remember, your time is more valuable to you than scoring on every possession. Taking somewhat contested layups or shots is fine, as you have a chance to get rebound with additional points given for the second chance points, and it won't waste too much of your time. Just make sure the shots you take are assisted upon. The shooting percentages will make a big difference. A 100% 3-point percentage would be worth 100 points. So when choosing your shots, only take 3-point attempts when you're wide open with a good shooter. Otherwise, just forcing it inside is a better option. This applies to your free throw and field goal percentage as well. So make sure the players that you put in the position of being fouled either have a good free throw attribute or you've mastered their fall. On defense you'll want to pressure the opponent as well. You won't get penalized for being scored on, so if the game isn't tight, you can use smart double teams to force the opponent into playing faster. With these methods you should have no trouble getting above 650 MT points. In my two test games, I got up to 729 points just using a bronze squad with one silver player. When you start to go above your limits, you can add better players to make up for the difference. Although you can forget about adding White Howard, Shaq or similar bad free throw shooter, since they will mess up your ratings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.